Hello everyone, welcome to Packhams.com. Today I'm going to teach you English of class number 9 and lesson number 11, sports and games. Please turn to page number 28, sports and games. All schools and colleges organize extracurricular activities like plays, dramas, debates, sports and games for their students. Extracurricular activities are those activities which are outside the regular course of studies. They're, these activities are good and healthy for both mind and body. Mere literary and academic life is not sufficient. The students should know the realities of life as they exist. The ideal of a good and perfect life is to have a sound mind in a sound body. Body and mind should work their best and they cannot do their best unless both are in good, good order. The proper end of games is both physical health and fitness. The Greeks were the earliest people who introduced the marathon race and many other sports. In the past, hunting and fishing used to be mainly utilitarian in purpose. These sports were used to get food. With the Greek civilization, sports came to be looked upon as a means of building up the body and mind. The Greeks excelled in shaping the human body. The famous Olympic Games held every fourth year are proof of the importance of sports and exercises. Sports and athletics are now considered an essential feature of the human activity, while sports give shape and strength to the body. They also instill the spirit of discipline and teamwork. The discipline that is gained in games prepares us for a life of cooperation and teamwork, which in turn is important for the society and it helps in nation building. Apart from making the body, limbs and muscles strong, games and sports teach how to use energy in the right way. There are different kinds of games for different age groups. The children run and play hide and seek. They also take swings, slides and enjoy rides on the merry-go-rounds. The school going children have PT classes in which they are taught e easy exercises to keep their young body bodies flexible. Young boys play basketball and volleyball. Girls play netball which is placed on, on school courts. These games make the body muscles strong. Some of these games are sports and are played in, at the national level. Some players qualify to play at the international level. One thing must be kept in mind that the spirit of games and sports is, is not to win only. Games also teach us to practice patience, tolerance, honesty, dignity and other moral values. One more thing which I want to tell you is that I'm not only just going to read out these stories. I will read these stories. I will explain this part in Urdu. In Urdu, I will explain this part in Urdu. I will explain this paragraph individually. So, I will explain this part in Urdu. After that, the main purpose of the reading is that you are saying the same way as you are saying the word proper. The pronunciation is proper. You will know where to stress and where to unstress. एक और वीडियो है यहाँ पे इट इस प्रेजेंट ऑन पैकेंस.डॉट कॉम विच इस गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द स्ट्रेस एंड अनस्ट्रेस रूल ओके थैंक्स